Hello everyone, kia ora, bula vanaka, talofa lava, bonjour, kia ora ana, hello oketa, and a very warm welcome to this Business Link Pacific webinar, Investing in Cloud-Based Accounting Software. Thank you so much for joining us today from wherever you are in the world. Before we get started, I'd like to make a couple of introductions and share some important information with you. So for the whole webinar, please do keep your microphone and camera on mute. Um, this helps with, a, with having a nice clear feed for our presenter. We are recording today's webinar, so if you do need to leave partway through or you want to come back to it at a later date, we will be sending out the recording after the webinar and we also post the webinar to our website. We'll have one Q&A session today at the end, so please, um, I do encourage you to uh, write your questions in the chat box for our presenter today um, throughout the course of the webinar as you think of them. If possible, please tell us your name or an organisation um, that you're from. If we run out of time for questions, we will make a note of your question and email you privately with an answer. So for those of you who have attended our webinars before, um, you may have already heard a lot about, about BRP and what we do. Um, but if you've just recently joined the BRP network, either as an advisor or a growing SME, Here's a quick refresher of what BRP is all about. So we are a New Zealand government funded private sector development initiative developed, delivered by DT Global. We currently work in six countries, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, Fiji, Samoa, and more recently this year, the Solomon Islands and the Cook Islands. Our core wow. objective is to develop a business advisory service provider network in the Pacific region that improves the access of business services to growing SMEs. We do this by offering three main services, a business health check, a business, a, a business advisory database, and our subsidy scheme. And since 2018, and with our local partners, we've supported businesses in many ways. So we've, we have 98 quality approved business advisory service providers in our network. We've helped 500 growing businesses connect with BRP approved advisors. We've completed 555 subsidies, 128 of these were covered, 100% covered by the cost of advisory support to COVID-19 impacted businesses. We've also completed 1,610 business health checks and continuity planners. Our searchable database of over 98 business advisors, of which we were having a presenter today, uh, all go through quality assurance processes to ensure that they are reliable and they also get business mentoring and coaching by BLP consultants for our for those advisors. Our presenter today is Akai Beach from Beach Accounting Advisory in Papua New Guinea. She's originally from the Mortlock Islands, a Polynesian group of atoll islands east of Bougainville. She's a certified practic practicing accountant and has been an advisor and consultant for over 20 years with big four chartered accounting experience in PNG, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. In 2017, she disrupted the PNG market by bringing in affordable cloud accounting technology with software as a service through QuickBooks Online and other cloud solutions. And these are now offered by Beach Accounting Advisory. She's not your typical accountant, but is a mix of entrepreneur, corporate CEO, business and social development manager and director. And her ultimate passion is to, in business is to add value to businesses and local communities through helping build both businesses and individual capabilities of basic business skills. Beach Accounting Advisory are also a BLP quality approved business advisor and research, innovation and training are at the heart of their business model. So Akai is here with us today to present an overview of investing in cloud-based accounting systems and um, the benefits and costs of each one. Welcome, Akai. Hello? Yep, you're all good, Akai, you can go ahead. I'm on, okay, thank 
and, uh, and hi, um, Anusha. Thank you for the introduction. Thank you for today as well um, to be able to share with uh, everyone on um, on cloud accounting. Touch base uh, with everybody and introduce um, and also speak a little bit about the, uh, investing in cloud-based accounting software. Um, Firstly, the major developments in modern technology has increased demands for accuracy, real-time information and convenience has made cloud accounting software a must-have tool for business owners. Um, and also non-profit. I want uh, three softwares, MYOB, Xero, um, and Intuit's uh, QuickBooks Online. And I, I do, I do want to uh, compare the three uh, just to give everyone a um, uh, uh, a chance at uh, uh, at at, the di at, at, at these three different um, softwares, and um, and you can um, maybe it can help your your decision in investing in the cloud if you haven't done so yet. Touch of moving away from desktop financial systems um, and uh, to cloud-based uh, accounting software. I am aware that uh, there, there is, there's a lot of uh, SMEs out there who haven't even been on a desktop system either, and they may be moving on uh, onto a cloud from, uh, you know, from keeping records, um, you know, manually or on Excel. Uh, past decade, uh, there has been a, a very big increase in um, in interest uh, in the in in based account um, I want to start with uh, with the first one uh, zero these these three softwares including zero um, are mainly targeted at SME or small to medium sized businesses and maybe uh, some large uh, and also large sized businesses as well zero was launched and it built it accounting application API uh, and or otherwise known as uh, uh, routines protocols tools for building software applications Th this is actually quite attractive to a lot of software developers uh, who want to add um, add applications to um, to the accounting software uh, such as zero and uh, zero has made it quite easy for a lot of uh, developers out there to be able to interface um, other with their and um, and zero has been um, uh, improving their functionality uh, you know ever thought uh, some years back it has invested heavily in their integrations with uh, with payments uh, platforms and and finance um, one of the the newest developments they have had is paying bills uh, you know within zero and I know in Australia, New Zealand, and other uh, few other countries, are, are quite um, this has developed really well there, and it's it's being um, used a lot. Our banks haven't yet um, developed the the platform for this, but I think I think they are aware of it and they are starting to um, to to work on this. So we will be seeing a, a, an increase. In, in the usage of the you know of, of, of these payment uh, options uh, you know through the accounting softwares like zero um, M so zero is a new originated software but it is now worldwide used worldwide the next one is uh, myob just a quick introduction um, MYOB is uh, is not a cloud software, but it is it is it uses uh, cloud functionality, and it is um, you know it is on the on the cloud. Um, they have uh, they a very a very big um, in, uh, in the Pacific region. Uh, I know even to this day they still people are still buying uh, desktop desktop uh, MYOB uh, disks to you know to install on their computers and to use it. Uh, MYOB, uh, I think, started um, uh, to get onto the cloud just a few years back, and and because they have quite a big following, um, you know, it's it's uh, a lot of businesses uh, are starting to migrate from desktop to to the cloud, and this gives us, uh, you know, it gives us uh, accountants um, a lot of uh, a lot of options now, you know, to give to give our um, business houses and our clients, uh, you know, to be able to move 
easily from desktop from their desktop uh, versions to to the cloud um, to use cloud functionality or to use cloud platform. Uh, again, like Zero, MYOB also uses uh, applications. It can integrate with other applications as well, even though it's not uh, cloud software. Um, let's move on to the, into its uh, QuickBooks Online. Um, QuickBooks Online is a cloud software like uh, Zero, and it is uh, uh, an American um, company, and it's uh, grown. Uh, the Australian base quite big in, and in the Pacific as well in the Asia, Asian, um, uh, sorry, the European countries. Uh, QuickBooks is quite, uh, is, is very user friendly and it also integrates really easily like Xero with other, with other software, with other applications that uh, your business might need. For example, there's some businesses that are using inventory that has a lot of stock and they stock really far they need a another inventory system uh, that can pick their stock you know from the floor to the to the shop and from the shop um, you know to the customer and it and the system is uh, uh, updated straight away well you have um, Quick, QuickBooks and Zero can can integrate really easily with another inventory system that can can do that even though there is inventory um, that's included in in this in these three softwares um, if you want, um, if you want another system can, that can help you pick and and also you know right down to the to the to the packet of uh, lolly or the packet of twisties you're selling in your business, um, you know you can you can actually go online and find what applications can work with this accounting software or can interest and you can actually uh, um, you know uh, subscribe and the the the, um, the softwares can integrate easily for you to, to start using. Um, to go through um, the, the three different, uh, uh, sorry, these three softwares, what we are providing in, um, uh, you know, to our clients um, in, um, in PNG, and I know this might also uh, apply to the other uh, countries as well in the Pacific, we have in under under um, QuickBooks, we have QuickBooks uh, Plus. Uh, the QuickBooks is the software, and the plan is called Plus. So we, we that's what we we sell here. We do not sell the simple uh, plan or the or the other plan because just because um, all the things that we have uh, are actually in the um, uh, in the Plus that most businesses uh, require, and the, and the Quick. The QuickBooks Online Plus also has uh, has projects uh, module, which is actually um, uh, quite a big need in a lot of businesses that are doing projects here in in the um, in PNG. Um, I wanted to uh, to show you. I might need I might need uh, some assistance from Anusha. I just want to add on the um, the presentation just to show this table. Just uh, give me one one moment, please. Sorry, Anusa, I might actually need your assistance with the presentation. Sure. Do you want me to present on my side on my side or do you want me to Yes, can you can you present can you present on your side? Sure. I'm having trouble adding it from here. That's okay. Hold on one second. Thank you. If you can go to the slide on the, the main plans being sold, there's a table. The eight. Yep. If um, if you can all see this uh, this slide that's uh, that's showing right now. Um, this is this is a comparison between the um, the main plans that we are uh, providing PNG. We can do the other plans, but I wanted to just show you uh, 
a comparison between plans. So QuickBooks, uh, we are we we are selling this um, this this plan called Plus, um, and and for zero, uh, we are selling the the plan called Premium. And MYOB, we are selling uh, the the package called Account Rights, uh, and and the the plan is standard, and the other plan is called Premium. So there's two plans under Account Rights. Uh, now, why we chose these plans is because they have most of the um, the modules and the functionality that we that most business houses need. So I wanted to just show you this before we discuss the the cost of this uh, of the of the different plans that that they have. I wanted to just show you this that for the, these four plans, um, they they have QuickBooks Plus, Zero uh, Premium, and MYOB Account Right Premium. They the currency. Uh, if you are using multi-currency in your business, whereas the MYOB account right standard doesn't, and then and they all have um, all these plans actually can do. Uh, they are multi-users on the cloud. They all have inventory, budgets. Oops, they can all do full accounting. Um, you can import, export um, from Excel or to Excel um, as well. Um, uh, especially the reports you can export to Excel. Uh, some of them have mobile applications apart from MYOB. Uh, sorry, MYOB do not have mobile apps. They also so um, uh, and they also have uh, they you can also have uh, API. They use API as well. So I wanted to just show you the other plans below below this. Um, these plans under these three softwares, um, they do not um, have all of this. So this is this is where most of the stuff you need are included. Um, of course, there might be startup businesses that might just want to do a simple start, you know, from Quick, QuickBooks or Zero or or even MYOB Essentials rather than Account Right. So just just to give you a little bit of comparison there um, between the three softwares with the the, the four different plans. Um, I hope that um, that makes sense. You can take a photo of that if you like, um, and uh, and that this can be also uh, sent out to you by um, by Anusha. Um, can we move on to the next slide? I want to now um, discuss the the different costs uh, between the the softwares, just to give you a little bit of uh, of background. Three programs, Zero and QuickBooks Online, have different price schemes, so there is no clear-cut comparison. Often they would have a basic program package with a base price, and you could order a premium, which may have more features or more payroll. Um, and these prices that I'm going to show you are quoted in um, AUD. Next slide. Okay, um, let's go through MYOB. Um, as I showed you before, um, it, we I only showed you account right, which is what we prefer to um, to, to to service uh, in in Papua New Guinea only because it's got all the all the features that most business houses here require. But, but MYOB essentials as well. Uh, it got their essentials. And with some of the accountants who are here, um, maybe also using it for their clients. Um, so, uh, under the two packages, MYOB Essentials and MYOB Account Right, let's start with the MYOB Essential Starters. So, MYOB Essentials is an online only, so you cannot download it and use it as a desktop. Um, and MYOB Essential Starter, which is the first plan that they have or the cheapest, it starts from $25 per month, and the first package this first package allows you to send up to five invoices, uh, up to 25 bank transaction feeds and payroll for one person. So it does have its um, have limited um, number of uh, transactions that you can do. The next uh, uh, plan up is called MYOB Essentials Payroll. Uh, this package is about and allows for payroll for one person, but provides up to 250 bank transaction feeds and an unlimited number of invoices. So. It's a little. It's an improvement from the other one, but it's uh, it also has uh, a few limitations as well. 
the third one, the third plan under the MYOB Essential is called the um, MYOB Essentials Unlimited Payroll. Uh, this package is at uh, $50 per month and it allows for unlimited invoices up to 250 bank transactions. Um, and as just it allows for an unlimited number of employees for payroll. Now this payroll is for uh, business houses that are in um, Australian tax. If you are using the MYOB New Zealand, then you'll be able to to use the uh, New Zealand tax. Whereas it does tax um, on it. Uh, so same as the next package, which is the MYOB account right. This is what we are we're selling here. Now MYOB account right is a fully featured accounting software designed for small to medium sized businesses which want the flexibility to work online or offline if you have to choose either and cannot options. As of the last few months, MYOB has, um, uh, has now changed their options. You can only choose uh, to do uh, either online or offline using your desktop. So, um, and we do not, um, we do not uh, support the, the desktop. So if uh, we only support the cloud um, option, uh, which we, which is what we are encouraging um, most business houses who are coming to us to, to go online and use the um, uh, MYOB cloud, um, especially the account right uh, cloud, because that way you can get the software support, um, you know, from us and from any of the other uh, MYOB partners uh, who are out there as well, who I, who are, who have partnership with MYOB, they can this on the cloud. Um, so under the MYOB account, right, you have the three uh, plans here. The standard is $70 per month. Um, the, the plus is $109 per month, uh, and the premium is $140 per month. I'm, I'm quoting here, they may not include some discounts that are being applied recently due to COVID, but there might be um, there might be some options there when you do check with your with your uh, uh, MYOB supplier uh, service provider. To uh, to 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 now uh, go through zero pricing with you. So zero um, is called if, um, it has. Uh, three plans with similar offerings like uh, MYOB. So you have the zero starter, which has a rate of 20 per month and invoices and quotes. Now this is for, for a startup, um, you know, not sure how much they're going to be making in a month or in the first year. Um, but, you know, you can easily move from zero starter to, 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 to the next level up when you when you realize you're going to be doing a lot more than that um, in the next, uh, you know, in, during the year, you can always switch to the next plan. So zero standard is the second one that, that zero is offering at the rate uh, double that of zero starter, which is $50, $50 per month and allows for unlimited invoices, allows you to reconcile and of transactions, of limitations there as well. Um, but uh, it's a bit better than the starter. Now, the, the third one, which is what we are offering, is zero premium. Uh, this is at $60 per month, um, and it's uh, just like the zero starter, except you can now pay up to five employees. Um, another bonus is it allows you to handle different uh, currencies. As I showed you in an earlier table, um, the, you know, the different uh, uh, functionalities that it can do. It can do a lot more. Um, even the reporting as well, you can, you know, all of them, you can have access to reports, but the zero premium has a lot more to offer and, um, um, you know, can easily uh, jump on zero premium and, and do everything you need in a month, um, except for payroll when you are in the, in the Pacific, you, uh, you have to check to make sure that you can do your tax. If your tax is the same as, um, as Zealand or you know, you can easily do your your payroll online. Otherwise, you'll have to do adjustments. Payroll. So that is the um, that is the the zero pricing. Um, I'll, I'll go on now to the QuickBooks online pricing for you to compare. Sorry, Anusa, the next slide.
uh, QuickBooks, uh, QuickBooks sent to the FAST tool. Uh, and given that it offers similar functionalities, it is recommended for those starting out their businesses. Um, and it comes in four packages, uh, including the mobile application. But I'm not going to touch uh, too much on the mobile. Uh, the mobile application is at $10 per month. Um, and and the QuickBooks uh, Simple Start is at um, uh, $16.50 per month. So the next one is QuickBooks Essentials, which is at which is at $27.50 per month. Um, its features include payroll for up to 10 employees, track sales and expenses, and also send unlimited invoices. The Essentials package also offers the same features, but it also allows you to manage and pay bills, transact in multiple currencies, and generate sales quotes. Now, the one that we are uh, mostly uh, clients in QuickBooks Plus at $38.50 per month. Um, this allows uh, uh, for track uh, for you to be created and for you to track project uh, profitability. The the projects is quite popular with a lot of business houses, uh, just like zero projects as well, um, because you can track any projects that are under your business. Um, you know, with the with the reporting side, you can you can just pull out the reports just for the projects to show what you have received and what you have spent. Um, and especially, um, you know, we when you are also developing a property in your business as well, it's easy to track is um, what you are spending and where you are at with the, with the cost of the project, um, and whether you are able to to cover the uh, the project cost as well. Um, it's easily the project module is quite a popular one. Um, it's also in zero as well. In the next slide, uh, uh, softwares, you can get more information on this pricing if you uh, speak to one of the the uh, partners of MYOB uh, or Zero or QuickBooks. Um, we also do all all the, the all the three um, with the software uh, suppliers in New Zealand and and in Australia. Uh, now I want to cover the costs and benefits of moving away from this to cloud-based accounting benefits. Uh, accounting um, now the benefits, uh, you know, the first benefit. I'm, I'm just benefits here like from anywhere. You can access your financial data from anywhere at any time. Yeah. You know, compared to a desktop, where you know your when you install uh, the the desktop software on your computer, uh, that's that's all it's sitting in your office or wherever the computer is. When you are away on holidays or when you are traveling on business, um, you cannot access your your data. And and even if your staff are doing the work at your office, you will not be able to see what they're doing un until they send you the email with the with the d data. Whereas with the software um, on the cloud. Uh, you know, you, you can actually log in from anywhere, just like you log into your internet banking and do banking. You can log in on your uh, cloud-based uh, software, what are doing and, and what's happening at your at your at the business end, uh, you know, where, where your sales are, your expenses are, and you can see your reports as well straight away. The second benefit is uh, it does minimize your cost when out. Um, with a lot of desktop systems, when you're asking for assistance, you will be charged a separate fee, uh, you know, to provide, uh, to, to receive that, uh, that help or that service. The, um, on the cloud-based systems, they're quite um, easily uh, serviced and, they, and most of the software, softwares do not charge, um, charge you a, a service fee because you, it's covered under the subscription. There, there might be a few business houses out there that might charge you an extra fee, but uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, service providers uh, do not charge that fee. Uh, so you can ask when you are um, when you when you want to move to the to the cloud from desktop or from from no systems. Always ask you know not only how much is the subscription for the twelve months, also ask how much is the service um, you know uh, to be provided when you need software assistance. Accounting assistance is another matter. You know, you might, they might, uh, of course, they'll be charging you for uh, giving you accounting assistance. But software assistance, 
you know they might not be charging you at all because uh, it's very uh, uh, very user friendly and it's easy to assist you online with the you know with your with your issues or so it does minimize your cost and also uh, when you're moving from desktop to the cloud you are actually gonna be um, you you'll be you'll be all your da data is stored on the cloud it does cut cut out your your IT costs um, uh, especially the hardware upgrade and maintenance uh, all the IT issues uh, uh, you know they're not included in here um, so it so it does minimize in our business we are on the cloud we do not uh, have any um, IT IT systems or IT hardware or uh, what you call it a server sitting in our office we do not have that because we are on the cloud so it, we don't have to spend extra cost on IT uh, services uh, the third the third benefit is it's easy to install and update um, as well uh, before when you are on desktop you will sometimes have to stop all your work for one day or a few hours so that an upgrade is uh, is, is being done uh, on your on your um, on your software um, and also when you are when you are buying when you're purchasing a new desktop software um, you know you'll have to go through all the you know all the hardware um, hardware challenges before you even get to the software challenges so it does it's quite quite easy when you are when you are um, using the cloud or when you are installing the cloud uh, accounting software uh, because all you need is just the the login um, they add you as a as a user on the on the on the cloud to, to have access to your file once the file is created online and once you log in you are in uh, and that's you don't have or wait on your computer um, you can uh, the you can install on any any um, uh, any syst any computer uh, hardware like for example you might be using a you might be using a tablet or you might be using a PC a laptop or a, or a, a desktop so very easy to fourth one is uh, people uh, that uh, we have spoken to and have helped them with the cloud-based software they always ask about security now instead of your information being saved to your desktop or somewhere else on your computer it's a Uh, software companies have a reputation to keep uh, if uh, is easily accessed by by users um, you know they're, they're gonna lose their reputation if, if a client loses their ending on their on their software security and they invest a lot in developing a the, uh, the, the added steps now that a lot of softwares have done is uh, the two-step authentication process where you'll see that um, even though you log in with a password your email is your user and your password to get in you you can still add on the second step um, to to authentify or to uh, you know to verify uh, the user M meaning you can use an added phone or an added um, an added, uh, uh, to so even your phone might be stolen um, you they they won't have access. You can change your email passwords and everything. They cannot go in your email. You can use email one as your as to 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 confirm who you are. You can also confirm with uh, another phone number uh, to confirm who you are. And and you know no one should have all your keep your um, you know uh, uh, confidential. You know from from um, you know don't leave it lying around on your table like you know leaving your passport or your ID cards lying around. Where people can just come and get your your data bits. What I'm trying to say is the security better than having your desktop um, using your desktop uh, cloud. Uh, uh, sorry, desktop uh, softwares, because if somebody wants to come in and steal your computer and take it away, they can easily do that by breaking into your office, taking that laptop away, your computer away, and you will never and, and you, they will be able to get in and get all your data. Whereas the cloud, it's it's a bit hard to to do that. Moving on to, to, to benefit number five, um, uh, it's it's automatic and you have regular backups. You know, with the desktops before, you always have to do your monthly regular backups or fortnight regular backups. And how many people do that? Um, you know, I, I have seen easily a lot of people, a lot of um, business houses forgetting to 
to uh, to back up their data and then you can easily lose all your all your um all your information if a disaster strikes whereas whereas uh, on the on the cloud um you know the backup process of your accounting um is automatic frequent and very reliable um and it, okay they may not be foolproof but at least they are far better than the do it yourself approach of backup desktop account uh, Six is very user friendly. All these three, MYOB zero and um, and QuickBooks, they're they're all user friendly, um, especially uh, zero and um, and QuickBooks online, are much more user friendly. Uh, but um, and, and it's very easy to teach as well when you are when you are online. Uh, cloud software businesses recognize that their target audience is often made up of beginners to the accounting well, so they make it very intuitive and easy to set up and manage. And it allows business owners to do a lot themselves, even with minimal accounting knowledge. There's lots of help guides and videos available for you to consume at your laser. Training is quite simple. Um, that's why we we charge very little on our training um, on training uh, to use that. It's very easy to teach, um, and it's very easy to use these softwares as well. Number seven, uh, there's better help and support as well when you're on the cloud. If you're on the desktop, it's very hard to see your stuff uh, wherever you are. Whereas when you're on the cloud, I can we can easily the service uh, support providers can easily help you. Yes, um, uh, and uh, and also uh, for most of the uh, the uh, cloud accounting software support is just a click away through a chat, phone, or email. Uh, also, as the software is list the machine, there are Okay, um, number eight, collaboration. Hosting accounts it easy for your employees to collaborate and work simultaneously as each one can log in and work on the same files simultaneously. The updates done on a record by one user gets reflected on all other users in real time. So I have like staffs in lay, for example, in another branch. Uh, when they are processing information for one client, I can log in straight away and see what, what work they're doing right now on that client. Um, same thing if a business house has two branches, one branch in um, in another location, um, and they at another location. Um, as soon as the staff at the other location or branch does the the update on the invoice, where you are now, you can just log in and see that that update already reflected on that invoice. So, um, and so the the collaboration in cloud software is is a lot is is very good and it really helps businesses. Um, especially those who um, uh, who have to communicate with uh, with their employees or their their directors, you know, in different locations. Number nine, scale your business at less cost. Now, this one is is quite. I find that this is probably one of the biggest uh, uh, reasons uh, that convinces a lot of businesses to move, um, and it's quite a good good reason. You know, when you are when you're trying to grow your business, as most you know, you want to grow your business with your business too much by growing instead of uh, growing your business, increasing your revenue but your what the, the cloud software can do for you is you can increase your business your transactions increase doesn't cost you extra you don't have to go and employ more people to come in and do more work you know for you for example, if you have one bookkeeper doing your work at the, at the office and now you are increasing your business, you know, twice, you don't need to get another bookkeeper to come in. You can, the same bookkeeper can still do your, your you know, your work for you, um, you know, online. So that's what um, I mean when I say, you know, you can scale your business, grow your business without having to, to, to incur more costs or increase. You, yes, you might increase slightly, um, but you don't have to increase with, uh, you know, with the processing side or with your accounting side. Um, number 10, a direct link to your advisors, investors, and the board. Um, with functions that allow you to invite your adv advisors to access your company's cloud accounting profile, both you and your team of professionals will now have a full live view of company finance in order to give the best possible strategic direction to the business. Uh, everyone, uh, anyone you want access to to see your account, your, your file uh, is easily done online. Um, you know, if you want uh, the owner is away on holidays, um, you know, they can, um, but you want them to see the work. The accountant ca can give them access or the owner 
can give the accountants access wherever the accountant is. The accountant doesn't have to be in your office. They can be somewhere else in their office um, and you can give them access to see to help you out with your accounting when your data is on the cloud. So very, very easy, um, you know, easy to, uh, to, to, to get the help you need um, because you are on the cloud. That is the um, that is the the main benefits I would uh, I would like to mention. There, there is of course there's so many other benefits you can um, you can think of, um, uh, but these are just a few. Uh, in conclusion, um, investing in cloud-based accounting software you know lets you focus entirely on the accounting work, and you will not be bothered by software updates, installation issues, data losses, you know, etc. Advantages like anywhere access, collaboration between employees, real-time updating of information will give your business a sure shot boost in productivity and the efficiency it truly deserves. When a business is having, you can scale up without increasing your cost too much. Um, and with that, uh, I will uh, allow you guys or I'll give you guys the time now to be able to ask um, any questions you would uh, you want to, to ask. Thank you very much. Thanks, Akai. That was really, really great. Um, we have one question so far, and I do encourage everybody, if you have any questions for Akai, now is your time to ask her. Um, if you just pop your question in the chat box, which is in the top right-hand corner of your screen. So, Akai, this first question is um, it's going back to that table that you first showed us. Is um, What is the difference between plus and premium? So I'm just going to um, go back to the table. Yep. Yep. What's the difference between plus and premium? Um, there, there is actually not uh, many differences. It's that's just a name uh, between the different uh, uh, softwares they're using. QBO plus that those um, those two up those four up there is because they I can easily compare them a little bit. Um, there's still uh, there's still some minor differences, but. Uh, Plus is uh, you you would say plus could be premium, but Q QuickBooks Online calls theirs plus, and Zero calls theirs premium, um, and MYOB calls theirs premium account premium as well. Not not too many differences, as you can see on the board on the uh, on the chart there. Um, the main difference you will see there is that um, oh no, that was for standard. It doesn't have multi currency, um, and it doesn't have mobile apps for MYOB. Otherwise. Uh, all the other functionalities and modules are very similar. Great. Oh, um, that answered your question. Yeah, I think it did. Um, if you had to pick one out of the three, which one would you pick? Which one would you highly recommend? I mean, I, I suppose it, it's different to uh, for different uh, types of businesses and, and also your size businesses, but I would go if I'm a non-accountant. Um, of course, uh, QuickBooks is the uh, is the easiest to use um, out of the the, the three, um, uh, followed by Zero um, and then followed by MYOB. But if you are an accountant, probably uh, and dealing only with single business businesses, of course, it's QuickBooks and Zero. But if you're an accountant dealing with, uh, you know, with a, a group of companies, for example, a company that has many branches, many departments, and many also many other subsidiaries under them, then it will be uh, MYOB, um, unless MYOB Premium, unless you want to consolidate your data out of Quick, QuickBooks Online and Zero. So I suppose for SMEs, uh, any one of these three, you know, will be, uh, you know, will be good to use. But for MYOB, you, if you haven't used it before, you do need an accountant to, to assist you a lot. Um, whereas Zero and QuickBooks Online, um, you know, not, not so much once you've got the training, once you've had training. Right. So it's, it's, it's more dependent, dependent on the, the type of business you're running and the, the type of situation that you're in, what kind of software you need. Uh, yes, and uh, and also how much, how much you want to spend as well. Mm. Um, so if you're starting from uh, starting from the beginning and you're wanting to move your desk from away from desktop into cloud based, how long does it take to make that move? Um, if you are not moving any any data from um, from prior years, uh, you can move in um, you know in a in a day, uh, you know less than a day. If you are if you are moving uh, your data from prior year, 
uh, and you want to move 2019 onto onto the uh, the cloud um, you know it can take it depends on who's assisting you it might take um, you know maybe one to two days uh, to set up your chart of accounts uh, to make sure they mirror um, the if you're moving as uh, STEM. But if you're moving, say, for example, MYOB uh, desktop to MYOB cloud, then, you know, there's, there's not too much you have to do. You know, it can take uh, roughly a day or two. Um, but if, you are, um, if you're moving, uh, you know, onto a different system, uh, you know, it can take maybe, it depends on the size of your data, uh, again, how much time will be needed. Um, and, uh, and also to, to work with the client, um, you know, you need to work with your staff, who are the users? You have to have that. Uh, that you have to deal with it as a project, and um, you know, put a timeline and has set up the days and how much time everybody has in the day, so that you can do that um, that move, um, you know, from the desktop to the cloud. But it, it it's a very it's it's not a it's not a tough transition. It's a smooth transition if you if everything is planned out properly. Less than three days, I would say, to have everything done for for data for bringing data over. Uh, or even a day, um, depending depending on the size of, of the business. Great, this sounds very, very doable, which is awesome. Um, and considering everything that's going on in the world at the moment and with the economy and COVID-19, is now a good time to, to do this kind of move? Right now is a really good time to make that more. One of the big... Uh, Big assistance that a lot of SMEs are getting out right now in the Pacific is uh, Business Link Pacific is also subsidizing a lot of the fees, um, you know, up to 50%, um, and which is a, a really big help. Um, this is a time to move. Apart from getting Business Link Pacific assistance, you also have um, 19. I mean, you want to, you know, you want to be able to to uh, to to not worry about your your information in the office if you cannot go to the office, if you're going to have to be at home, um, you know, you want to be able to move all your files. Um, but if everything is on the cloud, you can easily just walk out of there with your computer, your di diary, and go straight home and work from business doesn't stop. Lord, this is the time to do it. Uh, if you're thinking about it, there's a lot of assistance right now with the cost of, uh, of your first year of uh, of, of being on the system, uh, you know, PLP can can subsidize if you meet the criteria of uh, being an SME and and other uh, conditions, um, you know, of uh, of, of uh, becoming a of getting that uh, subsidy, um, and also um, you know, there's a lot of um, uh, what is it uh, other assistance as well that are being given. Like we, there's a lot of training out there right now that were, were never offered before uh, at a good at a good uh, value and good good prices of fees. You know, before it would cost you thousands and thousands to get training, whereas now it just costs you hundreds to get training. So, you know, this is the time to uh, to, to, to do it. Yeah, great and definitely a worthy investment. Um, so we're coming to the end of the webinar. Um, if there's anybody, if anybody else has any more questions for Akai, please do send them through to us. Um, Akai is going to be doing a second webinar with us in a few weeks' time. Um, and Akai, maybe you want to just tell us a little bit about what you'll be talking about next time. Um, yep, I think uh, we will be covering more on um, on the. Uh, uh, we will also have a session, I think, on cloud again. Um, you know, with a with a, a, a scenario, uh, an example of a, a client that we we're helping. Um, we will also be discussing training as well. There's uh, trainings. Um, that we are providing for for the softwares and also for for bookkeepers out there um, who want to uh, who want to get quality bookkeepers and to help and to give the help that a lot of SMEs out there can can get uh, you know at affordable fees as well. Um, so you know all of that will be uh, covered. In a, I think uh, you will hear more from uh, Business Link Pacific on uh, what's coming up, really exciting stuff happening. And we're looking forward to to sharing the information and ideas out there with uh, not only our clients, but also accountants, um, you know, who want to know how to, you know, reduce and do business a lot better at these uh, challenging times. Thank you, Anusha.
Thank you, Akai. And we're, we're looking forward to having you again um, in a few weeks time. We'll be sending out the invitation for that webinar um, in, in a few weeks time. I think she's probably at the end of July. Um, we've scheduled her in. Um, so thank you, Akai, so much for taking the time to join us today and sharing your, your specialist, specialized expertise with us. It's a very big topic to cover. And I think you broke it down very well um, for people who are thinking about making that move from desktop to cloud-based accounting. And we'll make uh, your, your slides available to everybody as well so they can go back and have a read and have a think more, have a, more of a think about which one they'd like to choose. Um, and we also send out the recording to the webinar to everyone in case there's anyone else who wants to watch today's uh, presentation at a later date. Um, Akai, thank you again. Um, if you have one main piece of advice that you want to give our listeners today, um, please do share it with us now. No, thank you, Anusha. I mean, I, uh, I most SMEs right now, I know they're struggling, um, you know, to, to uh, get their businesses uh, off the ground or or you may be struggling with, um, you know, not having funding or you may be struggling with, um, you know, how to manage your your business a little bit a good structure for your business start with having a good structure a good system for your business um, if you don't have that uh, very hard for you to see your information and make good decisions um, you know you, your reporting will be a lot faster you'll be in real time you'll be able to make uh, you know timely decisions you know for your business because as making decisions require information require timely information uh, you know to be able to make uh, good good decisions on time uh, so start with a good structure by setting up a, you know a system for you to start doing your processes you know to do your to take up your business transactions you know to start recording your transactions properly so that you can see your how you how you are tracking with your business you know performance and your business before uh, position so very important to to get the right advice um, and and you will only get the right advice uh, when you have the right information on you know in of your advice also it will help you to be compliant as well so that you can go out and get the funding that you need uh, for you. thank you very much and uh, uh, lovely talking to all of you great thanks Akai and um, on webinar next week um, will be presented by Belinda Botta uh, she's the owner and director of Dive Munda in the Solomon Islands and that's another one of our business advisors in our network and we'll be sending the invite out for that webinar um, to you all tomorrow. Uh, thank you again so much for joining us and we'll see you all again same time, same place next week. See you. See you. Thank you.